All right. So we've got negative 7x equals negative 3x minus 8. And the other equation is negative 5x equals negative 2x minus 12. So I'm going to walk you guys through this one. And then I want you all to press pause and do that one on your own. So um, please, um, when you're doing this, um, it might be cool to think, like, how can I get, you know, my x's on one side and my numbers on the other? Because if you do that, then it just, it, it, it will be less steps. So, but there's actually several ways of doing it. It's just that, like, if you just think of it that way, it'll be a little more straightforward. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, um, so, guys, what I want you all to think about is how can you leave that number all by itself? And how can you get rid of that negative 3x? So everybody just try to think of that and write it down. How would, how would I leave that negative 8 on its own and get rid of that negative 3x? That, that would be the simplest way to go about it. Add 3x. Right. Because to get rid of a negative 3x, we've got to add 3x to both sides. Yep. Now, negative 7x, that's 7 bad guys, plus 3x, that's plus 3 good guys, makes 4 bad guys. And negative 3x plus 3x is 0, and I'm left with negative 8 over here. So once you've done that, then it's in the form of something we've been practicing, which is that your x has been multiplied by negative 4, so we have to divide by... Negative 4. Negative 4 also, right? Cool. And now we just have negative over negative positive. 4 over 4 is 1, positive 1x, one or x equals negative over negative positive. positive. And 8 over 4, 2. x is 2. And um, just for anyone watching at home who decided to go crazy on me and do it a different way, I fully support your creativity. And I fully support you guys doing math your own way, as long as you don't break the rules and don't get it wrong and take my class all over again. Because you could have done like lots of things. Like, for example, you could add 7x to both sides. That's cool. You know, like, but just make sure you write 0 here because negative 7x plus 7x is 0. And then negative 3x plus 7x is 4x. And then you have subtract 8. A lot of students will do that. And then this subtract sign turns into an equals. And then they forget that the equal sign needs to be, it's here. Like this is your weighing scales, right? So don't, like, so don't be afraid to use 0 when you're solving equations. And then you might add 8 to both sides. And you might get 8 equals 4x. And then you might divide by 4 on both sides. And you might get 2 equals x. And guess what? That is the correct answer because we didn't break any rules. See, x is 2, x is 2, same thing. I don't care how you do it. As long as you get the right answer and uh, pass my class, that'd be great. So anyway, everyone, please press pause and do this one yourself. And then I'll rush through it and you can check your answer. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Ready. Ready to go, my gosh. So again, the trick, everybody, is I'd probably suggest to try to leave that negative 12 on its own, and let's try to get rid of that negative 2x. It's just a little bit straightforward, but again, there's lots of ways of doing it. As long as you add or subtract the same thing to both sides or divide by the same thing on both sides, then we're good to go. But if we, if we get rid of the negative 2x, we've got to actually add 2x. If I add 2x to the right, I must add 2x to the left. Now we have on the left, negative 5x plus 2x, 5 bad guys, and 2 good guys is 3 bad guys. And negative 2x plus 2x is 0. So negative 3x equals negative 12. And then we have negative 3 times x. So to get it on its own, divide by negative 3. And now we have x equals negative over negative, positive, 12 over 3, 4, or x is 4. Okay? And just to show how much I fully support everyone's creativity and doing it a different way, that's perfectly fine. Just don't um, make a mistake and, like, forget about your, your rules of equations. Because, like, if you guys decided to do something crazy like, um, I don't know, add 5x to both sides is all I can think that you might do. Just make sure that you see negative 5x plus 5x is 0. Write that down. 0 equals 
3x minus 12, and that's fine. And then you might add 12 to both sides, or even crazier, you might subtract 3x from both sides, and that's also fine. Just do it to both sides, and you get negative 3x equals like negative 12. That's all cool, because when you divide by negative 3, you get x is 4. Negative over negative positive, 12 over 3 is 4, and that is the correct answer. See, x is 4, x is 4. There's lots of ways of doing it. Just add or subtract the same thing to both sides. All you got to do.